and welcome everybody to Sim City. Uh, <laughs> I I don't know what's gonna happen. I this is just the beta. It just got released um, for very very late last night. I received an email, but I had to be up early so I could record until just now. Okay, welcome back. Uh, it took about I don't know five more seconds, but uh, that's all right. Okay, so we're just gonna go ahead and continue. I think. It might be running a bit slow, so we might have to change the graphics down because, as as you well know, my computer is, is a lame piece of poop. So, that's okay. Alright, so, let's just go through this tutorial. Uh, we're losing losing six uh, $1,700 an hour, which is which is good. Actually, there's simoleons. Haha. -ha. Alright, so let's get uh, familiar with the basic camera tutorials. Uh, controls. Uh, plus and minus to zoom. Alright, so there's plus, minus, blah, blah, blah. Beautiful town, huh? Let's take a look around. To drag. Whoa. Wow, look at that. Just. That is. Hmm. It's really nice looking, isn't it? Well, I'm not sure what else it wants me to do. I've, I've dragged it all the way around. Come on. I'm like a ballerina dancer. Alright, I did it. I did it, please. Just just let me be done. <laughs> Click and drag the mouse. Just. Uh, I did it. I, I, I really did. Maybe it wants that. Oh, other mouse. Okay. Actually, has a number of problems. Oh, oh, no. Dang it. How can I have problems? Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to invert these controls. That's going to bug me. And drag the mouse to rotate the camera. Okay, I rotated the camera. Uh, Sims need a town hall. Let me go ahead and change these uh, Change these settings real quick. So, as you can see, we're going to go. We're going to go all the way down. We're going to go to low. And we're, no, we're going to go to even lower. Low. And, uh, and there you go. Gonna go ahead and apply those, and we're click OK. We are also going to go ahead and change the gameplay if we can. Edge scrolling, panning, camera mode. Uh, oh, there must be things. I don't think there's a control for that yet. Well, if maybe there's one second. Edge scrolling. Move your. Uh, Huh, okay, so there's there's not enough of that. That's okay though. Um we will there, that's much smoother. Much uglier, but much smoother. Uh yeah. Don't expect anything to wow, this is just gonna go really slow unless I Oh come on. Man, come on, we're just we're hauling along. Okay, so they need things to do to improve their lives. Here's Sim who needs your help. Okay, so click on the town hall and find a speech bubble. Wow, just look at these Sims. Just look how pretty they are. Okay, Eva Stanton is she's pissed. I'm just kidding, she's not pissed. Uh, you may have noticed the protesters. Our last mayor left the city in a terrible state. We're hoping you can fix it up for us. Oh, heck yeah, I can fix this up for you. Right. First, we need to connect outside the world. Cutting it off. Or we're cut off. Nobody can move in. Please fix our highway. Right, okay. So, out we go. We're going to go fix the highway. Would you look at that? Just, come on. How stupid can this mayor be? So what we're going to do, uh, we've, we've selected a road. And, and there we go. We're just going to hook it down there. Oh, look at that nice intersection we've created. It's utterly worthless. Guess what? That's okay. Wow, these guys are just, they're just zooming. I mean, I don't even know what else to say. Hey, look, we're making money now. Let's look at that. Okay, so we can control traffic by placing some stuff. So head back to Town Hall. Uh, Eva, Eva says. Eva from Wally. I'm just kidding. Louis Blosh de Ravy. She says, every town needs connection to the highway. Okay, thank you. Uh, trucks can build new houses. Residents can move in. Okay, they can use the highway. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. Right, so here's our zones. I do remember these from the old games, because I did play the other SimCity games. I don't know how similar this one is, though. Uh, SimCity 4, I think, maybe was was just beautiful. Uh, and I... And you need... Uh, you need um, Residential, commercial, and industrial. In case you're very new to this, uh, residential is obviously where you, where the, your citizens reside. It is like where they just walk through their houses like that. It's pretty amazing. Wow, I need a new computer. That's it. I've decided I'm getting one because I can't stand this anymore. Just look at this. This is like micro machines. It's awful. Anyway, um, wow, this is ugly. Just because of my computer, though. I'm sure the game is actually beautiful. Uh. Anyway, so the, they are, where they reside is the residential and commercial is where they work. Industrial produces new good, but also new goods. Um, also a little bit of work, I think, I believe. I'm 
not entirely sure. Uh, but you really, it's sort of, you just need to find um, a balance. So, here they are. They can live here, provide housing, and uh, what do you mean, tell us what they say? Look, there's even like a mixture, it looks like. That'd be kind of nice. So, residential. Oops, residential zones are uh, free. So, drag and draw. Let's see. They're using the zone tool. So, green residential zones are already placed. Click and drag along the roads to draw residential zones. Uh. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. No, I want to watch this. It says when you're done watching, click OK. But we're going to watch this guy zoom and place his house wherever the hell I put it. I don't even know. Yeah, put it right there. Put it right in the intersection. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just look at this guy. I don't think this is... This is neighborhood speed. Look. Come on, man. Wow, that is... A spot. If I've ever seen one. Okay. So... To get Sims to move into your city, you will need a connection to the highway. They share their thoughts, and they'll gauge. You can help gauge. Wow, look at that house. It's just like growing out. It's like a, it's like a zit, zit house. Hey, Mayor Jerry Jard. Oh, oh wow, he's so happy with me. Yes, I am Mayor JJR202. Bulldozing. Sims are moving to Summer Shoal. I thought that said Summer Schools. Summer Shoals, but they don't want to live next to this. Yeah, why would you next? What's up? Who wants to live next to this shit? Like, come on. Who wants no one no one wants to live with this. What is this? Get out of here. Just by just to click how to rubble the Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Rubble, bad and buildings, that's a nice little tab. Okay, there we go. Things are looking better already. Now construction crews will build shops on this block and land valleys will improve. Wow. And so there they go. They're gonna start building them. Um There's a population apparently. Let's look at the population. Yeah, let's let's look at our population. Someone just died as we looked at it. That's okay though. Uh, it looks like your residential population has increased. Yeah, that's because we built that new shack. Like 20 people can live in there. They're just like rednecks because they just all pile in. They like sleep on the floor, in the floorboards, and in the rafters. They have like a thousand kids. Okay. Um. But it looks like we need to just close this now because it's going to tell us absolutely nothing. Excuse me. Alright. So down here we go. So this guy is totally pissed. Ugh. Okay, he says we need a town. Um. Alright, he says we now that we have the new workers, we need some new jobs. They don't want to live next to these things, but... But there's plenty more room. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put some industri industrial zones and some commercial zones down. So now we have an industrial zones. Creates jobs for sims. And pay the highest amount of taxes. Wow. Okay, drag industrial zones along roads for industry to develop. Okay. So, what? That's interesting how it tells you the wind. I wonder why. Um, why it does that actually? Come, 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 come. Look at this. Look at that. Woo! Woo! Okay. So basically, I built like one house in a crap ton of industrial. That's okay, though. I actually, I like commercial zones. I like, I don't know why. I just like the, I like the commercial zones. I like the look of them. It's just, it just makes me happy. That's what most of my cities, what I want them to be composed of. It's not possible, because you do need a balance, but yeah. Uh, remember the commercial to attract shops. Residents spend the money they earn from their jobs at shops, which makes them happy. So, we need happy sims, because happy sims are the best kind of sims. Switch to cheetah speed! <laughs> That's right, you can you can indeed switch from llama speed into cheetah speed. It just uh, puts you into fifth gear, and uh, off you go. You're like a cheetah. Um, like a cheetah, though, you don't want to do this for very long because things things tend to go badly when you do this. So, so let's go ahead and like, put on the cheetah. So put on the cheetah. Whoa, pretty fast! It's useful for developing a city quickly. Well, actually, it's just useful for if you don't want to waste your life. Alright, cheetah speed 3, so go we'll type that down to turtle speed. And we'll go back to llama speed. Okay, here we go. We're on our way. We've we've explored all the speeds. We've ridden we've ridden a cheetah, ridden a turtle, and now we're back on the llama, because llamas are just the best, even though they sometimes turn around and just spit at you. That's okay though. That's all, that's all right. Okay, now that you've got more business opening, let's look at your treasury. This shows the amount of simoleons you can spend right now! 
right now, we can spend 890,000 big ones. <coughs> Excuse me again, still getting over the cold. Um, here is your city's revenue. This number shows how much money your city is earning per hour. If this turns red, you know you're in trouble. We're looking good so far. Alright, I'm not sure if this means, it probably means per hour per here, so that's actually quite a bit. Uh, quite quickly. I'm not sure if it's actually a lot, but we'll, we'll just see. Okay, so we need to open this up. See, see what's what. So we have power. We, we're costing some power. We are, uh, we have parks cost us money and education costs us money, but guess what? That's fine. So taxes pay this, uh, commercial pays this, and, and, uh, and there we go. Um, yeah, that'll, that'll do it. Okay, so, I'm not sure why that's not highlighted all the way. Uh, neither is that one. That's, uh, that's, that's nice. We'll just, maybe we can, I don't know, I'm not sure, should you bug me? I don't know. I want to find a bug really, really badly. Okay, here you can see all of your income and expenses. Keep your income higher than your expenses to stay in the black. Wait, what? Wow, okay. Sounds good. Taxes, uh, some of those protesters have been grumbling that taxes are too high. We have enough spoils now, so we can place Satan the masses by lowering taxes. Okay, so, let's go ahead and put that 1% lower. There you go. Right, and we'll just close that. <laughs> yep, lowering it by 1% is enough that they're just like, oh, heck yeah, best mayor ever. Inghong New Hingen. Inghong New Hingen. Oh, we need a water tower. Oh, shiz. I have just the solution. Lucky Shores, the big city to the west, has plenty of water. Head to the region and make a deal with Lucky Shores. Right, so we need to get we need to get Eva some some uh some water because she's she's just parched. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, click on this uh this dragon over here, and we can indeed see everything up from up here. It's it's amazing. So there's me. I I just I look absolutely disgusting. <coughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> this is your city, Summer Shoals. Each city in a region can be run by a mayor, or one mayor can run them all. Okay, awesome. Uh, each region has a great work site. Several of the cities in the region can collaborate on a massive project for the benefit of the region. This airport brings in a lot of tourists. That's pretty nice. So, it looks like this is our region. Just, um, three little areas. Well, two, and a... What is this? A, a great work site. Alright. So, I'm just... I'm learning as you guys are. So, don't expect too much. Oh, look at that. Endeavor Island. That's our region. And this is how much money total. Wow, we're putting forth a lot. Come on. Come on, Lucky Shores. Okay, Chet Kino <laughs> has specialized Lucky Shores in gambling. Okay, so it's a bustling tourist place. Click on the water button. They have more water than they need. Okay, uh, let's see, 20 kilogallons. That's okay. Metric, uh, metric imperial unit. It's fantastic. Okay, kilogallons available at one dollar for point two. Okay, so let's go, let's spend some hundred, hundred simoleons and see what we can do. Here we go, check this out. That's it! Now we're buying the water we need from Lucky Shores! As our water needs grow, we'll automatically buy the water we need as long as, as, long as Lucky Shores can supply it. I am a little bit worried about that for a big city. Um, if you do forget about it, you'll be ch you'll kind of wonder why you're losing a lot of money. But, for the tutorial, it's okay. And I suppose you'll learn as you keep playing. <coughs> so, let's see what else we can do. Go back to our city, and there it is, flowing under the roads. Water is essential for your cities. Without water, businesses will close and Sims will move, move, will move away. Okay, so they're not going to move away, which is good. Um, Lucky Shores has helped us with our water problem. Now Eva is dealing with a power shortage. She thinks we can solve our. Oh, that. Now Eva is dealing with a power shortage. She thinks we can solve ourselves. Click the speech bubble. Sorry, I forgot the name of our town. I thought Eva was the name of our town. Um, your honor. See, she's like, she's starting to like us. Alright. So, dang, we've ran out of coal. So, let's go ahead and build one. It'll probably cost some pollution, but that's okay. Oh, here it is. Coal supply has ran out. Oh, no. Slept global coal deliveries so that'll cost us money kind of quite a bit of money I'm not sure if that's per or if that's just like a one-time deal look at this look at this coal truck flying he's losing so much coal as he goes come on man you can do it you can do it come on come on come on come on you know it'd be cool if the buildings uh, faded out they might do that on higher graphics and 
not entirely sure, instead of just sort of flashing away, but if they did fade out as you drove past. Uh, just, just another tip. Alright, so, we have, we have one delivery of coal. I, I don't think that's gonna power much, honestly, but that's okay. Uh, in this game, it, it's just enough, because, just because it is. Okay, so, let's see, we're no longer in the dark, but now Eva is worried about crime. You should check in with her, check in with her, sorry. Okay, so let's check in with Eva and see what she's up to. Mayor, I'm up to my neck in complaints and calls. We had to close the police station to save some money. Oh, shit. Most people have been on their best behavior, but we've seen a recent upstick. Or uptick. An upstick in crime. Okay, the servers are down, attempting to reconnect. Brilliant. <laughs> okay, so let's see what else we can do. Maybe we'll just get to play for more than an hour. Look at that, that's amazing. Okay, so, police station. Police cars 2. We're gonna open this up. There we go. Criminals that are caught will be held in jails at the police station. Criminals are then rehabilitated and released as residents into your city. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. It's kind of funny. Look at these gangsters. Look how much exhaust they have out. Wow. Sorry, I, don't, I, just, I just read that. Look at get those crooks. Police respond to crimes in progress and patrol the neighborhood around the station to keep an eye out for criminals, right? Hey, what's that smell? Eva has an idea. <laughs> you can smell uh, Eva's ideas. They just sort of um, come out of her brain, and and then you just you waft them in. Don't smell directly, because that's dangerous. It's like chemicals. It's like you don't want to smell them directly, because you just it's it might just burn you, like Eva's brain. Okay, so she says, "Ugh, Mayor, this town stinks. It's all the garbage. I've been relying on Lucky Shores to provide garbage collection. It has been a while since it's been collected." I gave Mayor Kino over there a call, and I think I convinced him to send a truck over. Uh, we don't have full coverage, but the occasional garbage truck should help. You should check to see that the truck is coming. Here it comes! <laughs> Here it is! The neighboring cities have a share system coverage for your cities like fire, health, crime, and garbage. Select the garbage truck. Okay. Oh. Uh, there we go. Awesome. Ew. It's kind of sticky. Anyways, should be anyway, uh, you can follow vehicles or sims to see where they go. Okay, so let's go ahead and follow this. See, now this guy, uh, he's a garbage man, so he's not going to drive. He's not going to go, like, totally, like, ape shit on the steering wheel. Um, he's going to go back there, though. Anyway, so it says it's, it's just telling us to want to open up. Uh, okay, here you can see Lucky Shores provides our garbage coverage. It says they make bonus income by providing their service to other cities. So, oh, they can make bonus income. That makes sense. Okay, uh, we don't need our own garbage dump, and they come, one garbage can come, one garbage truck comes to, uh, take our garbage away. Just, just one truck, that's all you need for this, this massive city. Uh, because, guess what, they're just like, they're not just these monstrous garbage trucks, and it's amazing. Ugh, oh, that's okay. And, uh, there still seems to have foul scent in the air. But, guess what, we will discover what that foul scent is next time, because... I don't know why, actually, but it's a good time to end because we'll go we'll go on a sniff hunt next time, and, uh, and we'll see what we can find. It looks like we're gonna find oil, but it's okay. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned. Uh, remember to let, like, rate, comment. Uh, feel beautiful, and uh, have a good day. Okay, see you guys next time.